Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. Okay, today's video I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see me organizing and reorganizing my office and here and almost everyone said yes, which is crazy because when I think about it, I'm like, that's so boring. Why would you want to see me do that? <laughs> But this morning I was watching Manny MUA's reorganizing video. So obviously it's fun to do. So here is the tea. I got a new desk from Ikea and I got a new giant organizer which has not been made yet. My husband and I are gonna make it tonight. And I wanna transfer all of my makeup into my desk today and then do the other stuff another time. But right now it is a damn mess. So I need to come up with a plan, decide what I wanna put in there and I'll probably declutter a little bit along the way. I have a boba tea and a fall candle to christen this experience. This is perhaps the best fall candle I've ever tried, and that is a crazy thing to say. This is from the brand um, The New Savant, which is owned by Ingrid Nielsen, and this is in the scent Harvest Table. When I first smelled it, I was like, oh, I don't think this is gonna be for me because it has like more food notes in it, but it's not. It's like a nutty dream, a nutty dream. The notes on here are fall baking, retro cooking shows, a sneaky taste of cake batter, your coziest sweater gathering around the table with friends that are family. And it says nutty and warm and delectable. I did not cut the wick, so don't be alarmed. That's on me. <laughs> ah! That's, um, that's my bad. I should have cut the wick. <laughs> also, it has the most insane scent throw I've ever smelled on a candle, and that candle is so small. So I really want to make this a nice, fun experience because, again, this is supposed to be nice and fun. However, it does feel somewhat like a chore. So let me show you what we've got going on. Okay, so here's the current situation. This is the new desk, and you can see all of these Alex drawers. They're all empty. I want to fill all of these up. This is my old desk that has makeup in the drawers here that I want to transfer to this desk. And then there's also my vanity, which I'm planning on selling, that is also full of makeup here. And then this entire thing is full of makeup back there. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to condense it into just this desk. Like now that I'm looking at it and thinking about it, I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna happen for me, but I really wanna try. Again, with the declutter of it all, I'm feeling hopeful, but it's hard to say. I also have those extra ones just in case. And the next thing I have to decide is if I want my desktop to be like kind of completely clean so that I don't have a bunch of stuff on it, or if I wanna have the things that I'm currently using on the top of my desk, because I think I want to do the drawers by type but I usually have my top drawers being my favorite makeup so I think I'm gonna mix everything together and then have the things that I'm currently using out on the top of my desk so that each week I can kind of like refresh the products I'm using instead of getting in a rut and using the same ones over and over that just happen to be on the top what do we think about that I think that's kind of a good idea and if it doesn't work then I can rearrange them but I think I'm gonna do that also subscribe sorry forgot to mention that Subscribe. Okay, so bottom line, everything, all my makeup is in this desk here, but I'm stressed as hell, okay? Things are not looking good. All I did was put every single thing in here, and now I'm gonna go through and declutter a lot of it because I just don't need it, and it's time to get rid of a lot of it. But also, some of this stuff I like to keep and give to my friends. So I do have some bags over here of things that are either gently used or like semi-used or 
just opened and swatched that I give to my friends because obviously I'm not going to give away stuff that I've tried or opened. So let's go eat through each one and kind of talk about what we decided. Okay, so this top drawer is a mess. This is like one of the messiest ones. This is a mix of eyebrow, eyeliners, and mascaras. So there's also some eyeshadows up here, but it's like mostly eye things. And I really want to try and figure this one out because this drawer is also that similar vibe. Like these are all eyeliners and eyeshadows. So I think I'm gonna have to make this entire drawer eyeshadow and maybe this drawer be eyeliner and mascara and eyebrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But again, as we go through these things, I want to start to declutter. Another really bad drawer, these drawers are bad. This is all lipstick. Like these are all the lipsticks I own. <laughs> I have to order more organizers because obviously these are all just loose back here and that's not gonna fly so i have to order way more little lipstick holder organizers but that's okay like because this is a thicker drawer these fit standing upright which is good this drawer down here is my actually the the, the last two drawers are blushes. Let me zoom you down. Yeah, so these last two drawers are all blushes. I could not believe that it took up two full drawers, but it did. These are different stick blushes, cream blushes, powder blushes. I mean, it's a lot. And clearly you can see what my favorite product is to buy. I also didn't have a space for my eyeshadow palettes, so that might have to go in a different storage department. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, you have made it to the other side of the desk. This one is more, well, I don't know. I, I have no idea. This drawer is kind of a mystery. This is like facial sprays, setting sprays, sponges, Lumify, like kind of randoms, but they still need somewhere to be. This drawer is concealer. Oh my God. Look at this. I don't know what to do about this because a lot of these concealers that are like this, I had st like standing upright on my desk, like in a tube setting because I don't want them to like squirt out of the sides. So I don't know what to do about that. Like, I don't really know if it's okay to have them. I know this one for a fact, like this is the Dior. If I have this laying on its side for too long, it's gonna get really nasty, but I don't want my desk to be just like full of shit. So I'm stressed about this, but there's also powders in here. So powders like loose powders, powders and concealers. And I think I should be able to find a way to organize this. This drawer is all foundations and skin tints. Look how much is in here, you guys. This is crazy. When you really look at it like this, it's scary. And there's some primers in here. So I guess primers too. Then this bottom drawer is highlighters. Second to last bottom drawer, this is all highlighter. And then the very bottom drawer is bronzers. So there's definitely some room in some of these for other things, but I don't really want that to be the case. Like I don't wanna mix everything together. That was kind of the whole point of this. So I also have all of these like acrylic organizers that I got on Amazon to try and fit all of my powders and all of the product that kind of lay this way. So I think I'm gonna start with the bottom and move upwards because these top drawers are an absolute mess and god help me i'm actually surprised that this is all i have for bronzers i was really expecting quite a bit more it's a little bit surprising it's actually not too bad to have to organize so i'm pretty happy about that is that really all i have this is a highlighter is that really all i have for bronzers wow I have a lot more room. My highlighters look pretty good as well, but I definitely want to possibly add one more tray in here. These are all, I think these are all powder or they're like ones that stick up. You know what I'm saying? This is more organized for sure. I think I might have to declutter another time because I don't know if I can do both right now. I'm like feeling so crazy but maybe I should. I'm stressed. <laughs> I mean, this is bad. This is really bad. I don't really feel the need to get rid of many things here. I'll probably get rid of this alley-oop pen. Like, what the heck is this? Why do I have this? I like this bronzer. Oh, I can get rid of this from Fenty Beauty. This is like a highlighter almost. It's like a little bit too dark for my, it is very dark for my skin tone. So that doesn't work for me. This Persona in Dune, so freaking good. This is like one of my favorite bronzers of all time. Got some Fenty matchsticks. This is like a nice contour shade for me, if you'd believe it. Not that I contour, but if I wanted to, it's there. I feel pretty good about my bronzers in general. Highlighters, I 
keep some of these things just for the fact that I want to review them or like full full reviews, but I'm actually gonna get rid of the Iconic London Radiance Boosters because I just don't use them. For example, I hate this, this Say highlighter, but I keep it because I like to have it if I'm doing like a full face of Say or something like that, which I've already done, so that seems silly. I'm gonna get rid of this Beauty Blender highlighter. It's just clear, it's nothing. Actually, you know what? This might be good as a, like an eyeshadow topper to make your eyeshadows glossy. Whoa, am I crazy? Let's try that. I'm gonna put it with my eyeshadow. That could be kind of fun because it's not really sticky at all. Oh my god, who's texting me? Leave me alone. I've never actually gotten around to trying this e.l.f. highlighter. It's kind of like really icy. Look at that. I feel like I should keep it though because I haven't tried it yet. I've heard it's pretty good. Obviously keeping all of my Say highlighters. I really don't like this highlight, but again, I want to keep it for comparison. It is the highlighter from Persona Cosmetics. This is so greasy. I think it's really going to be nice to be able to go in here and be like, oh, look at all my highlighters in one place. So now I can like decide what I want to wear each day instead of being stressed like, oh my God, what am I going to wear? What am I going to do? This is nice. I think I'm gonna... Now this drawer, I am, I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna have to get some more organizers out for this. Let's start by making a section of skin tint and then making a section of foundation. So I'm gonna take out all my skin tints so that I can organize them by that. I'm gonna get rid of my Morphe too or put this in a fails video. I did not like this. This uh, foundation from Hourglass is about three shades too dark for me, so I'm going to get rid of this as well. I like the Pretty Fresh foundation from ColourPop, but this is not, not my shade, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Look at me, go Rudy, go. Go, go Rudy, go. Good Lord, I have so much skin tint. I have never used this and it's expired. How sad is that? The Skin Shield Blurring Primer. It's time to go. Another thing I never used that is clearly expired. Look at that. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, who's tried makeup from The Ordinary? I'd be curious to hear about it. Oh my God, this is mostly skin tint. All right. Why do I still have this? I have this in here because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use this to do how I did my makeup in high school. <laughs> and because of that, I feel like I need to keep it, which is stupid. This Fenty is too light for me, unfortunately. So that's gotta go. I'm gonna try and stand some of these things up. That could be nice. Good grief, how many damn foundations can one girl have? You guys know how I feel about my skin tints. It's gonna be hard to get me away from these, any of these. I'm gonna try and see if I can stand them up like this. These are brand new in my collection and I love them so much. They're from the brand Typology and I am just now testing out some of their skincare and makeup and it is so good. So I'll definitely be talking more about that. Why do I have so many doubles? And I'm gonna throw in the four primers that I currently own and wear in with the foundations. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't need all of these extras. I currently, this is the Tula skin tint. I think I wear shade 10, so I'm gonna keep shade nine and give away shade eight. Cause I don't need all that. Okay, look at that. Three drawers down and it looks pretty good. Concealers, okay, let's just put you up a bit. I feel like with concealers and powders, I can put so many in these types of containers. Let's see. Why do I have so many REM beauty ones? Like, I don't need this many. That's so many. Look at this. Don't need that many. I just need the one that I use, which is light P9. Strange. I'm a strange person. And then I kept some darker shades for some odd reason. Okay. Carrying on. Powders. Let's start there. I don't even like this rare beauty powder so that's gonna go away i haven't used the original from bare minerals in 100 years so that's time to pass my favorite powder the say air air set yeah and of course my Kosas. these are my two favorite powders so they have to be in the front of course I also like the Invisimat from Fenty, so we'll put that in there. And the rest of this is concealer. Oh my God, I found more Rem Beauty. What the heck? The heck is going on? Okay. Oh my God, I found another one. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't like this. This is the Best Skin Days from 
Oh my god, from Iris and Romeo. It's kind of like the WTF foundation. It's a no from me, dog. It is a no from me. You're kidding. I just found yet another rim. That's like six. I'm gonna keep two, okay? That, that evens it out somehow. Oh my god. What is that, eight? Eight of them? Nobody needs that many. I do want to keep all the shades of my Milk Makeup Concealer because I freaking love these, but I know I don't need that many. Look how many I have. These are so good. I know I use, I think, 9N. I use 9N. Anything above that, I think, is probably going to be too dark for me. But it's just hard to know, and I like it so much. Some of this stuff in here is old, y'all. Uh, uh, old. Like, look at all of this. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna set this up? Just gotta try, you just gotta try. Let's start with my favorites and put them somewhere special. RIP, this is officially, officially discontinued, just so y'all know, which is so sad. It's wrong. This is the Dominique Cosmetics concealer that had that metal tip. That is a really awesome like idea, but the packaging or the product itself was not, was not good. Somehow this does not feel like a good system because I can't see everything. So that's not good. And it doesn't close. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. There we go. It closes just barely. All right, here we are in concealers. It's better than it was, but it's not good. And I know it. And I have to dig for stuff and that's what I didn't want to do, but maybe I'll put extras in the back because it's like, it's an extra. So it doesn't need to be out, you know, right? Extras in the back. If you're being extra, you go to the back. Yeah, that's better. Much better when extras are in the back. Much better. Extras in the back, ma'am. I said extras in the back. Which one of you is extra? You? Okay. I feel pretty good about this so far. Are we ready for this side? I don't think we are. I don't think I am. Because these are all freaking blushes. Oh my god. Okay. I don't feel too bad about the organization down here so much as it is like, do I need every single one of these? Okay. I think I'm going to get rid of this ColourPop. I think I only used it one time. This is the Super Shock Shadow, which is very nice, but I don't need it. Um, I like this Beauty Pie blush in Bare Blush. I've talked about it in a video that I did on Beauty Pie, but this is quite old. This is an amazing beginner cream blush, so I like to be able to reference that. And then all of my new About Face blushes that I really, really like. Obviously have to keep all of my Tower 28 blushes. This one is a beautiful powder blush from Persona Cosmetics, so I don't wanna get rid of that. My Gen Nude blushes from Bare, Bare Minerals. Another Persona Cosmetics blush that is so pretty. So don't wanna get rid of that. See, you run into these issues. I'm gonna put this one back here. Obviously I love my freaking Merit blushes, so I wanna keep those. My blushes from, I think I have these somewhere else. Yeah, there are some up here. Oh, this is, this is a mess, you guys. This is Maybe I should do cream and powder, like separate it like that. No, cause it's kind of like, you just have to do it however you can. It's kind of how I see it. Like however you, they'll fit is how you have to do it. You know what I'm saying? However they'll fit is how you must acquit. <laughs> I need my own section for my mirror bronzers, I think. I love blush, so this is gonna be really hard for me. Really hard for me. What is this, a bronzer? Get out of here. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. The stress of it all. I don't know why I've kept this for as long as I have. I really don't like this rare beauty blush. So, it gone. Oh no, I lost a cap. <coughs> Jay Josh crushed. Things are going so well. <laughs> Do I have duplicates of these? Don't need that. Don't need both of those. Aha! Uh -huh. Fool me once. If you are watching this video, I'm so sorry. I hope you come back for a different one to find out that I'm not as insane as it looks. Even though I, I own this many of the pixie blushes. <laughs> that is...
We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Minis. Minis meet your mini hole. Oh, my precious, precious. The Say Dewy blushes. These are so good. They're precious to me. Okay, they're precious to me. And I don't wanna hear another word about it. As much as I want to like and have tried to like the Rare Beauty blushes, I just don't like them. They are far too pigmented for me and I never gravitate towards them. And I feel bad because I know so many people like them, but they're just so damn pigmented. Too pigmented for me. Got a little nude stick section. More sticks back here. Sticks galore. I tried to like this blush. This is from the brand Air Perez. Air Perez, and it's their Carrot Color Pots. This color just looked really weird on me. I don't know why. It was just a strange look. A strange look for a strange girl. These are my sunscreen blushes from Color Science. They're pretty cool. I do like them. Okay, 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 I think I did it. No. Ugh. Woo! Look at that. So we have our Merit, some powder, this big ass live tinted one. I talked about this in a fall video, look at that. A bunch of random sticks. I will say with, with the Say ones, they have to stay upright or else they will start to get nasty. So that's gonna possibly be an issue. This is pretty good. I mean, I got everything pretty organized here. I'm pretty damn proud if I do say so myself. Is this an Ilya? Let me have another Ilya in here. Okay. I mean, that's pretty damn good, if you ask me. For a girl like myself. Onwards and upwards. Okay, this one stresses me out bad. This is lipstick. And I don't know if there's that much I can do right now besides declutter because I don't have anything else to organize it with. I mean, I guess I do, but let's get started. Should we organize it by lip kind? Like lipstick versus lip oil, lip gloss, or by favorites? Let's just start by decluttering. This is the Make Pink Matter Multi Bomb. I like this, but I really don't, I don't use it and I don't really go for pot products, but I'm gonna keep it because I know a lot of people want me to do a Make Beauty review. But what I am gonna get, of that, get rid of that is similar is the Iris and Romeo Power Peptide Lip Balms. As much as I wanna like these, I really don't. I wish I did, but I don't. I'm gonna get rid of some of these glossy lip stains from ColourPop because I feel like they're just super old. I'm just gonna go through here quickly and get rid of my super old stuff. You know, it's time. A lot of these are multiple years old. Old, old, old. This lipstick I have had for since I was in high school and I'm not gonna get rid of it, okay? This is the um, Bear It All from w Wet n Wild and it is my favorite lipstick, so you'll have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. I have all these lip oils from what, um, from Kosas and I never wear them. Are these all in the same shades? No, they're not. Interesting. That's, I don't think they deserve a spot up front. My husband got me this YSL water lip stain and as much as I like it, I literally never, ever wear it. So why keep it? That seems silly. I have so many matte lipsticks up here that I'm like, when am I ever going to wear them? I'm not. I'm not a, I'm not a matte lipstick person. Look at this. I got the Euphoria blush oil. I have to move this down. I think they're gonna send me a new one though. It turned blue. It turned blue from like, I guess, sun exposure? It's supposed to be green. Isn't that weird? I need to move that down. Super weird. I don't need all these damn matte lipsticks. I got a lot of lip oils, man. A lot of lip oils, but that's kind of my vibe. I'm a lip oil girl. That's my whole thing. This is one I wanna keep because my husband also bought this for me, this beautiful Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Dorothy. Isn't that pretty? I hope some of this is in actually in view. This is my Lip Lab lipstick that I made with the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my God, there's just so much. I'm stressed about it. I don't know what to do about it. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know if you can tell. I gotta get some of these and just start piling stuff in there. Some more Make Beauty.
by far my worst drawer. Ugh. This was a bad one. This was a real bad one, but it does look better, but not that great. I mean, golly. Okay, you guys, I love you, but I have to do the rest of this on my own because it's taking me so long, much longer than I anticipated, so I gotta get through this. I hope you enjoyed. You probably did not, but let me know down below if you want me to keep doing these. I have so much to organize and to get rid of, but also I understand if it's a lot. Anyway, subscribe, love you. Wish me luck and peace. <laughs>